We start our journey by crossing the Menai Suspension Bridge. You take the first exit on the roundabout, past Waitrose, and on the left is a car park. From the car park, we'll take the path that leads down the woodlands and I'll bring you to Church Island. At Church Island, you can watch the whirlpools of the Swellies, enjoy a short walk around the island. There are great views of Menai Suspension Bridge and Britannia Bridge. You can take a walk up the path that'll take you to the top of Church Island and there you'll come across a World War I memorial. On the island is a medieval church called San Cecilio. This current building dates from the early 15th century and underwent renovations in the 19th century. A 10 minute drive from Menai Bridge, we head to Moyle Adon, which is a small fishing venue. Here you will find the remains of the old pier where once you were able to catch a ferry across to Port de Norwich. Also at this location you will find the old boat wreck of the Seven Sisters. We head up the coast to Abbe Frau and visit St Quivan's Church which is marooned on a singular bay which can only be accessed during a low tide. The church dates back to the 12th century. It originally stood at the end of the peninsula. Over the years the sea slowly eroded the coastal bays turning Krebinia into a little island. A causeway was later built to allow locals to get to the church. This is one of the top photography locations Anglesey has to offer and is spectacular at sunrise and sunset at high tide. South Stack set in a spectacular location northwest of Holyhead. The lighthouse at South Stack acts as a waymark for coastal traffic crossing the Irish Sea. There are a couple of car parks at South Stack. The first you can park up and walk down the cliff edges, offering a display of fantastic rock structures with the lighthouse in the distance. The second and main car park you can look down at the lighthouse or take a walk down the 400 steps closer to the lighthouse. Once again this location works best during sunrise 
or sunset. Chemice Bay sits on the north coast of Anglesey and offers beautiful beaches. A tide bell was installed in 2014 and has become a prominent feature on Traith Maur. Visit here during sunset as the tide comes in. It can leave you with some stunning photographs. Not far from Chemice Bay is Porthwen Brickworks. Parking here can be a bit tricky as there may be enough room for about four cars. From here, head through the gate and take a 10 minute walk down the path to the coast. Porthwen is a disused Victorian brickworks which produced fire bricks. There are many remains of the old buildings and machinery. It is a spectacular location the kilns are in good condition and the old dock is still visible with great views around the bay. This is one of Anglesey's hidden gems. High on the cliffs of North East Anglesey is the Grade 2 listed church of St Patrick and is said to be one of the oldest in Wales. Legend says in 1440 AD a Celtic bishop called Patrick was shipwrecked off the coast and took refuge in a cave nearby. Having made his way ashore on a patch of grass he marked the foundations for a church. This is a beautiful location and in the past has been featured in Hollywood movies such as First Light with Demi Moore. Hambadrick Church also has its own car park for a few cars and offers some beautiful walks along the coast. Paris Mountain is one of Anglesey's must-visit locations for its unearthly open-cast copper mine landscape. With amazing colours of reds, oranges, browns and greys, 
This Martian landscape appears barren, but supports a variety of wildlife and plants. Back in the 18th century, Paris Mountain was one of the largest copper mines in the world. There is a decent sized car park and a network of walks around the landscape. It can be a dangerous place with some deep hidden shafts. Another lighthouse on the northeast coast is Point Lanas Lighthouse. The lighthouse, which dates back to the 1700s, consists of an operational tower, the headkeeper's house, and two keepers' cottages. There is also the remains of a jetty at Point Lanas, which makes for some good compositions during sunrise and sunset. There is a public car park nearby, and the walk from there will take you 20 minutes to reach Point Lanas. Standing in a lonely spot a couple of miles outside Moilvre is a ruined 12th century chapel, Capel Chigui. This stone structure stands today where the older timber-built Celtic church was in the 12th century, when the Viking raids on Anglesey came to an end. Just a 10 minute walk across the field brings you to Din Chigui, an ancient Roman village site dating back to the 3rd and the 4th centuries. Our final location brings us to Penmon Lighthouse, a popular spot for photographers. Penmon is accessible heading east out of Bumaris and through Hangoid. For a small fee, you can drive along the toll road and park close to the lighthouse. Sunrise and sunset are the best time for photographers. 
also shooting the night sky at this location works well.